I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Vir, my love. Focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter. Your alliance is unusual. I, I think what Kratos is trying to say is... ...he's never seen a Light Elf and Dark Elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day... ...a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim? Contested territory. Past the Barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alfheim before the division of light and dark... ...it's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. Which is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there. If I may ask, do you miss Alfheim? You mean, do I miss the light? Do you? The truth? I still feel its pull. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. But then again, the light does not make good food. It doesn't play music or tell jokes or open your eyes to new things. It makes you run in place. The more I am away from it, the more I see it for what it really is. And I don't need it anymore. I appreciate your candor. Is someone going to ask me if I miss the light? Of course. How rude of me. In their defense, love, you are usually not the most... ...talkative. I will speak. From birth, we are taught the light is everything. The elders say it is why we fight. But all of that... It's shit. I am more than the Hive. More than a soldier. Light Elves, Dark Elves... ...all Elves are the same. 
stubborn, brainless as moths, blinded by their light. I know better now. I looked into the shadows, and there I found my people. My home. There. That is all I have to say. You can go away. Thank you for sharing. I'm glad it worked. Uh, whatever you helped her do out there. I'm still not sure I totally get you, or what your deal is, but as long as you have her back, I'll have yours. What's that? This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Runa. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. Su na. Lovely. Working together is already opening doors for us. Uh, is he always making puns like that? We're blocked by more vines. Remember what to do? There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. We're clear. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if 
you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. What is this? The crest of Skirnir. Never quite as smart as he thought. Explore the river now. And hopefully, write some more things. <clears throat> what is your unfinished business? I left something behind. Near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going by there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is another thing. Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. said the ace here burned him yes. we weren't yet at war but relations with the vanir and aesir had been hostile for ages no more for now focus <laughs> Oh! 
A fitting fate. Astrid. No. Spirit. Freya, you returned. Astrid. What happened to you? To your garden? The angry are. My life's work rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until you return to live forever amongst its putrescence of just punishment. I will return, Astrid. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Why? The earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. We have to destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. I wonder what a good hurl of your axe might do to that flaming pot. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Life returns to the garden. Good. Oh, glad to see that still works. Armor piece bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, uh, perhaps. This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. Family crest of Henir. Poor man. Can you see if there's a way inside while you're up there? Anything illuminating?
garden still aches. There must be more poison somewhere. I await the day when my garden grows again. Finished. Let's return to Astrid. The land. It's alive again. I can feel it. Yes. Your garden grows again. Freya! How did you... It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try. You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again, find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't.
This crest belonged to Odin. A peace offering from my people. And a waste of good work. Reveal the inside of that building. Can you see anything valuable in there? <laughs> I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. Freya, how did your brother come to be burned by the Aesir? Well, Freya got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freya was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, 
who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Obviously, he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. But such an affront made war inevitable. Freyr certainly wasn't the same after that. At least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but... I do understand where his anger came from. The gate's open. We can head back and get inside. appreciate you finding my orb, though, since I am doing this for free and whatnot. And how is it you two know each other? No, I can't be divulger in guild business. You gotta respect the secret dude of it all. I'm sorry? Let's just say Brock and I have long enjoyed certain common interests. That's right. Like getting us into trouble. And getting you back out of it again. What? <laughs> That's only mostly true. Okay, so does that answer your question? Close enough, I suppose. Family crest? I'll take them. I don't 
keep your bits in all the right places. A good fit. So, bro, if Lunda can step between realms to travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe. Or maybe I just showed her a few tricks while we were tying one on. Or maybe I showed him. You don't know us, clever pants. Did you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Big Fair and Baylor? Well, they were both imprisoned by one side or another. Or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being loved always a risk. That's what makes it fun. You could say the same about hot cheese. Linda, what do you know of Birger the Traveler? Not much. I ain't the talking type, really. But from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler for a time, then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. Hiya, Freya. How you doing? I'm fine. On that, madam, we are agreed. What? Oh. Oh, uh... Thank you? Any time. Ha! <laughs> Lunda, you ain't changed one damn bit. <laughs> Learn anything? that orb yet?
Waterfalls. We're close. There should be a gate up ahead. That's quite a gate. Don't suppose you know a way through? The Pilgrim Gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise... His name was Hrimthur! He just smiled to see me, and as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better, and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, lost it. I hoped it might have given us another way. Despite his actions in Midgard, Atreus does still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him, and was constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot, sought the comfort his father withheld. I wonder if your son could benefit from that, too. He has befriended the other dwarf. The Blue One's brother. Oh. Well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm.
soul cannot rest until they are at rest. Gunhild. What is wrong? I died. And you will help me. Of course, Gunhild. But to what end? When the Ain Heriar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested. Say them. I understand your desperation, but that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. <laughs> Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines in the way. So, what's it like, being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. souls are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom of death. Mm. Oh! Must be safer this way. We'll need to find another way around. Oh, 
like more of Lunda's old armor. Nearly have the complete set now. Runa's word appeared over there. See it? Mekin. We should be able to reach the wedding site.
Nice work. Happy to repair my old armor for you. Hey, um, you happen to find my missing orb yet, though? What is it, Mamiya? It's nothing, brother. Just... You ever have those moments where you wish you could... ...go back? Rewrite your own past, make different decisions? Journeying through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, uh, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? 
No. Of course you're not. 